Oh, hey, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be talking about a few ways that I would like to restructure some things about my channel and a few of the reasons why I'm thinking about doing this. Uh, so I, I still plan on I still plan on making bookish videos and focusing on on bookish topics. That's not going to change, uh, but just I I think I'm going to be moving a little bit away from a monthly TBR wrap up kind of structure. And I had been mostly doing TBRs, wrap ups with um, some occasional vlogs thrown in and um, had different themes with those vlogs. But um, anyway, so I'm going to be trying to move away that away from that for a few reasons. One, I just feel like it's time for a change up. It just sounds exciting and fun. Uh, I had just have quite a few ideas that I would love to try out. Um, very few of them unique ideas. It's just been fun to watch others in the community do some similar things to this and feel inspired by them um, to do some similar things and just kind of do it in my own way. And uh, another reason is that for some reason it's felt weird to do some of those to do some of those things while feeling confined to my physical tbr the physical books that i have on my shelf that i haven't read for some reason it's it's felt weird to do some of those creative videos or integrate you know other fun things that the community is doing various readathons or just different things the community is doing with just sticking to my physical the physical books that I have on my shelves that I haven't read. And and I don't know why, it, it's hard to explain, but it's it's felt like I just needed to just grab a list of the ones that were the next most intriguing to me on my shelf, just make a list of those, get through them. And I did integrate a TBR game into my TBRs for the past year, but I already very much had an idea of what I wanted to do and changed some of the rules or made my own rules for some of them that stipulated that if I couldn't fulfill that prompt with something that was on my physical TBR, I would just skip it. And, you know, so th there's been, there have been quite a few things that have just kind of made me feel like I wasn't really in that headspace or, or able to do some of those while focusing on just checking through some of my physical TBR. Another thing too is I would like to integrate more nonfiction into what I'm reading. And and it's obviously not that there aren't booktubers who read predominantly or maybe even exclusively nonfiction and have been very successful doing so. Um, but it definitely does seem to be a smaller number of booktubers. And I also just wanted to be able to integrate it in an interesting way, or at least a way that allowed me to do other interesting video ideas that I, I've had that I would love to do. And so I've been trying to think about a way to do that without focusing too many videos on nonfiction, but still making sure that I'm talking about the nonfiction that I'm reading. And so anyway, so we're gonna we're, we'll see how this goes. It's probably going to be evolving throughout the year, uh, but I just know that I am wanting to move a bit away from a monthly TBR monthly wrap up kind of situation. I also did not do well <laughs> at filming wrap ups for the past, maybe even the last half of the year, and so it wasn't even really a model that was working well for me to begin with. And I didn't want to pressure myself to film specific types of videos. I just, you know, want to focus on some of the other ideas that I have. So one thing that I would love to do is structure it in a way where there's not a specific, there's not a specific set for each month, not a specific set of books that I want to read. I just want to read what next is compelling me and integrate that into different video ideas based on what it is and how I can fit them into various ideas that I have. Whether it be I just start reading and then figure out a plan for how to integrate it into a video later based on similar books or books that I can categorize or think of some sort of theme or something to do with them in a video and just kind of 
had that video evolve as I'm reading books and just reading the next book that I want to. Um, or, you know, maybe I have a plan from the start and I know how I want to structure the video, but the actual clips of talking about those books are just going to be filmed whenever I happen to want to read the next book in that set of books where I have a specific plan for that video. So I'm not necessarily going to have videos that are in a specific chronological order. I don't necessarily want to go back to weekly vlogging, for example, where whatever I happen to read in a week is what goes into a vlog. I do have a lot of ideas for how I can either theme a specific video or find interesting ways of choosing the books that I next read. So it can either be I'm in a mood for a specific book next and I will go ahead and read that and then find a way to integrate that into a video or I have an idea beforehand for or I'm in the mood for some randomizing and finding some creative way to pick my next book and then showing my experience reading that book, for example. So, you know, that way it just gives me a lot more flexibility to read what I want what I want. And I can integrate nonfiction into that because I can read nonfiction whatever I want. It's not necessarily something I have to integrate into a video. And if I felt like it, I could read a nonfiction book and then at some point when I've read a certain number of nonfiction books, I can just do a review of the nonfiction books I've read recently while still reading and integrating videos, more videos, uh, about the fiction that I'm reading. And so I can, for example, have a themed Sanderson blog, which is something that I would love to do. I can have videos for specific categories of books, whether it's why fantasy series continuations or sci-fi or starting a series or, um, you know, seasonal reading, you know, things like that where, um, I can have those sorts of themes, but I don't necessarily have to read them in chronological order. So if I'm not feeling like reading five books of one specific type in a row, that's fine. I can read them whenever I want and then have the video come out after I read whichever ones I want to read for a specific video. And then when I happen to be done reading those books, edit all of the clips together, get the video up. And in the meantime, have, you know, shorter or more time frame focused videos integrated in there as well so that there's not just huge gaps in these videos. There are still ways to integrate, you know, a 24 hour readathon or, you know, participating in someone else's readathon or a cozy night in reading and just having that be a vlog. There are ways to integrate videos in between some of these longer or ones that might be more chronologically spaced out and you don't necessarily tell in the video or you can't necessarily tell in the video when exactly those clips were filmed even if they were filmed weeks or months apart but it still makes a cohesive video in terms of the theme that you wanted to that you wanted to go for and so um, and that way or you know throwing some tag videos in there, throwing in recommendation videos in there. There are ways to space it out such that even if a typical vlog takes much longer to film because I'm just going to film it when I feel like reading the next book for that vlog plan, there are still ways to make sure that there's not huge gaps in that content that could still be fun to film. Uh, anyway, I just... I hope that makes sense, but I, I have so many ideas for what I want to do and I'm feeling much freer now that my TBR is quite a bit smaller. I'm feeling a lot freer to be able to do those things. And yeah, as I said, just feeling like a change. And so I hope you're excited. I, I, hope, I hope that I'll be able to make some fun videos for next year um, and feel like I can just uh, read whatever my heart desires next and but still find a way to integrate that into content and have fun ways of picking them too as I said so I have plenty of ideas of having having my boyfriend pick my next read and plenty of ways to do that or integrating the library or integrating other ways to kind of randomize 
what I, what I end up picking or maybe not necessarily having my TBR game pick a TBR for the month, but I can still use that board and just change what the colored squares will indicate and find, you know, find a way to change what those colors mean and then go ahead and roll the dice and then that way I'm still using my TBR game even if it's not in the same way as I have been, if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope that's exciting. I'm excited and I, I just really, there's so many videos that I just feel inspired to make and so I'm hoping this will allow me um, a fun way to do that, make that content, but still just read what I feel like reading in that moment. And yeah, anyway, um, let me know if you have ideas for how I can, for videos that you want me to make or how I can kind of integrate different things that are in my, in my set of goals for this year. I will um, have that video linked either at the end or, or somewhere down below uh, because I feel like I can integrate my goals into this in, in a really cool way. Um, so reading around the world, for example, I can read those video, I can read those books whenever, have the vlog clips ready so that when I have read all of those books, I can then just make sure that all of those clips are edited together, post the vlog, even if the vlog has been months in the making. Or, you know, again, incorporating nonfiction, there are still going to be ways for me to incorporate nonfiction. Either it can be a themed vlog or it can just be a wrap up of some of the nonfiction that I've read. And that way for those interested, that content is still there. But, you know, maybe it's not the primary thing that the percentage of videos that I'm making focuses on, even if a good chunk of my actual or a larger chunk of my actual reading is nonfiction than it has been in previous years. I can still tailor the content to make that a specific percentage of my videos, even, even if it's a larger percentage of my reading, you know? Um, other goals that I have, making sure that I'm finishing books that I've started. When I feel like reading those books, I can just read those books. And, you know, finishing series, I can either integrate that into um, various vlogs or, you know, I can just integrate that in a bunch of different ways and in a bunch of different types of videos. So I feel like this will be a really flexible way for me to to actually accomplish some of those goals and work work some of those in as I am in the mood to read to read those things. So uh, yeah, I hope you will stick around for some of those changes. Be sure to subscribe and I will also link my Instagram down below. One of my goals is to be more active there. And I also link more information about how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see you in the next one. A lot of this is gonna be starting in January because I'm gonna have very little space to film in December. And so it's just, it's gonna be starting next year for the most part because I'm just gonna do what little I can with videos for this month. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye everyone.